At long last, the wait is over. A warm welcome to Wembley. This is Derek Ray, joined in the commentary box by Stuart Robson. And we're approaching kickoff time in what promises to be a spectacular FA Cup final. How's it going to go, Stuart? Well, Derek, as a youngster growing up, this was the day that every young footballer dreamt of. Playing in the FA Cup final, walking out in front of 100,000 fans at Wembley, broadcast around the world, it still brings a tingle to my spine. And I'm really looking forward to this one. Well, you can probably see why we're focusing on this fellow as one to watch. Stuart, in particular, what do you expect to see from him? Well, Derek, we know he's an outstanding player, but when he gets free kicks in wide areas, he usually delivers the perfect cross. And when it's on the edge of the box, he always makes the goalkeeper work. looks for Southampton well I think they have a nice balance to their team a solid back four two holding midfielders three creative players in advance of them and a mobile centre forward it's a good team the opposition starting 11 well they're starting in a very solid 4-5-1 but they transition really quickly and key to that are the wide players They'll support the centre forward as soon as they win the ball back and they usually do it with a lot of quality. And the game begins. And the attack looks promising. Ward Prowse. Might still work out for them. And in the end, no damage done. Well, so close to seeing an early goal here. It's a great save, you have to say. Oh, a nice looking pass. Oh, that was begging to be put home, but the goalkeeper has it. piece of defending no degree of difficulty at all for the keeper let's see if something comes of this well the supporters think it's on and a goalkeeper on top of his game well it's great goalkeeping what a big save that is Fancy a short one. El Yunusi. And snuffing out the danger. This attack looks highly promising. Now well, the pass not finding its target. And support available. Must take the lead here. Oh, there's the goal! There's the opener! How about that? Well, here it is. again and it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line and there's certainly no doubt about the finish he really hits it with power and accuracy nothing the keeper can do about that and the ball is moving once more how important will that opening goal prove to be
Walker Peters. Now can they make something happen? Oh, big opportunity. He's blocked it. Morris. Well, nicely cut out. Now what can they do with the ball? He continues his run. Corner kick awarded. And let's see if this will help them add to their lead. <laughs> Elects to go short. Well, Prowse. Who can he pick out? Promising looking ball. Couldn't keep it. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter attack. Jay Adams. Or Prowse. Determined defending. Adams. Now with Ward Prowse. Showing patience as well as persistence in the build up. El Yunusi. And searching for his second, but the keeper equal to the task. Well, he's looking really lively, isn't he? Every time he gets the ball, he looks a threat. Going short. Bella Kocha. Well, couldn't quite find his teammate. And with that, the first half comes to an end here at Wembley Stadium. And so the match is underway. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. Elianusi, good visualization and execution. And the goalkeeper taking charge. Possession changing hands. Now, who can he play it to? Intercepting it intelligently. And the counter looks on here, options available. Oh, that's an interesting pass. Cleared away comprehensively. Elianusi. Jay Adams. Well read to put an end to that attack. Bryn Morris, and close but offside nonetheless. And into the last 30 minutes now. 
Well, a classic example of how to intercept. One goal down, but now a corner kick. Substitution time as is here. Let's see about the delivery. Well, it didn't worry the keeper. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Can they take advantage of the situation? Well, it fizzled out. Otis Khan. Well timed tackle. El Yunusi. Adams. Oh, he's really up on the up here. Well, not every keeper would have been that brave. Well, he read it brilliantly, didn't he? Top stuff from the keeper. Ward Prowse. He's in with a chance. Well, the bar can be the goalkeeper's best friend. Well, threat averted. Well, that would certainly have wrapped up the victory. They're not quite home and dry just yet. Yes, a really open flow to the game. End-to-end -end stuff. Well, they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity. And time for the change now. They are making headway, but really they need a goal with time not on their side. And he's lost custody of the ball here. And that's easy peasy for the keeper. Do you Chaleta Tsar? Che Adams. The ball with James Ward Prowse. Showing good defensive judgment. Plenty of support here. Well, taking into account all the stoppages, two minutes to be added on. This could be the equaliser. Oh, blocked it! And there goes the final whistle. The cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. Memories are being made. Well, just look at those scenes down there, Derek. What a contrast in emotions. Brilliant for the winners, despair for the losers. But overall, the right team won today. Yeah, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity. Well, this is special for everybody at the club. What a great moment for any young player. And this is what you dream about when you start playing football. When you're playing in the playground, you want to win a cup. Brilliant moment. Yes, a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners. Well, you can just see what it means to those players and the manager. That's fantastic stuff. There's always the element of chance in a cup competition. But my goodness, they've taken the rough with the smooth. And now they savour the moment. Four marks to the entire team. And now they get the chance to exhale and enjoy. They've been brilliant in this competition, and so have the fans. They've really got behind their team. They've played a big part in this win. Just look at those faces in the crowd. Great stuff.
They're really a match made in heaven between players and fans. And these celebrations are going to continue for quite some time. And now the players get to relax a bit and enjoy having the pictures taken. Well, these photos will be cherished for years to come, won't they? Certainly ones to show the grand...